Oh, we're all going on a summer holiday. Oh yeah, she looks good. Yes, we're ready for the holiday. So if you want to guess by me singing, we are going on holiday today. Well, we being me. The past week or so, I have been home alone. Um, because my parents have gone down because I originally I had to work and then I cancelled my work. So, I mean, I could have gone down earlier, but then it was just too late to faff about. And my train ticket had already been booked. So, evidently... I am going today. I was going to do a pack with me, but then it was a kind of a stressful pack last night because, like, I don't know, I was just shoving everything in. And you know when you think you're going to be organised and then you're just not organised? You know, you just end up shoving everything in. I was like, right, clothes here, bags here, shoes here. No, no, it's all over. So this is my suitcase, everyone. It is very, very full indeed, and I've still got a few more bits and bobs put in there. So I need to finalise doing that, and then I'm actually ready to go, though. Let me just say, the train journey is five hours. Five hours! How am I supposed to entertain a girl with undiagnosed ADHD like me? I I couldn't tell you. A little bit easier to do it on the phone at the station. I've arrived at the station, been to M&S to grab a few little snacks, and now I didn't realise that Starbucks actually closed. Plus the four, station, so now. So now I'm going to Costa, and then I'm going to go to the platform. Doesn't mind, but honestly, oh, this bag is the heaviest thing I've ever experienced in my whole entire life. My train is meant to depart at 9.56, but now it's 9.59. And it's late still. Um, I'm waiting to get off and it's already late, but I'm going to go to the freaking pumpkin cafe. I've never been to a pumpkin cafe before, and I was like, it's just such rolls, like dairy food, and they're not sausage rolls. What the fuck is that one? Sausage sandwiches and dairy free. And she was like, let me do a check. She whips out this fat fuck off, like, allergy fuck. I was like, whoa. And then she's like, yep, yeah, darling, we've only got um, gluten, soya, and barley. And I don't know what that's meant to mean. So I was like, give me a bit of that. And it was like, ketchup or brown sauce. I was like, ketchup, please. And so this is my sausage sandwich, I don't think you can hear me because the train's really loud, but let's give it a try. I went to Starbucks and I had my heart set on a baker bowl at Starbucks, obviously. My heart was destroyed. She's rude. Remember that some people may be unable to wear a face covering and not every disability or condition is visible. That's so good. I'm going to rate this sausage sandwich a good 7 out of 10. The rolls are a little bit crusty, which is nice, but it's not too hard. Sausages have a little bit of a funky taste, but I think because it's half past 10, I am starving. No, it's not even half past 10. Ah, there's a pigeon. Ah! It's 9.44. Oh, we've got 10 minutes. Oh, now it's expected at 10 o'clock. Damn, the time just keeps going and going and going up. I'm nearly finished scrumming this down. This ketchup tastes a bit like vinegar, so, oh, got ketchup on my bag. So I'm not too pleased about it, but... Oh, overall, 7 out of 10, like I said. So, I'll catch you when I'm on the train and I'll show you all the snacks you got on the train because she's going first class. <laughs> okay, see you in a bit. Bye! Mum, I made it. Train, she is leaving her best to first. Well, I'm trying to get the seat to go like further down. Because I sat on the seat before and it didn't go further down. Oh my god, I thought I got on the train. I thought I did in there because I was like, I just got the one that came to platform six. I was like, okay, maybe I've come to the right one. Right, is that? Chairs from the front of the train. Chairs for on my way to Exeter. Cheers, darling. Miss ya. But as I was saying, like I thought I got the wrong train because on these things it says like reserved for seat to Plymouth, reserved for a seat to. Where's the other one? To Newcastle. And I'm thinking. I'm not going to either of them. I'm meant to be seat 21, which is literally there. And I was like, well, I'm not sitting backwards because I requested a seat for sitting forwards. And I'm in the right coach. It's a 21 to one. So I just sat in it, you know what I mean? Maybe they just had a little switcheroo with the carriages. You never know these days. But I've just been brought a still, not still, sparkling water. And then I'm going to order a bacon roll because I am still hungry. But let me show you what I got for my minutes. I got some strawberry. I got a pot of grapes. I brought an apple from home. I brought some lentil cakes from home. And I also bought a pack of chicken because everyone knows, me being me, I have to have chicken wherever I go. And also, did you have to get chicken on the train? So I have to. When I say I'm the only one in here, I mean I'm the only one in here. Let me show you. No one down there and no one down there. Like, that's why I thought like I got wrong because surely like, people are going to be travelling. Then I realised like not many people are going to be travelling on a weekday for a five hour journey. I'm out. 
let's be honest. But this is the countryside brew, and let me show you the scenes, people. It is so scenic. Oh my god, yes, very countryside-y, very nice. So today, in the Netherlands, we have the trees, and we have all the nature, and we have some houses, and we, we have some pigeons about to fly. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's actually kind of pretty. Ah, yay. Oh, there we go. Countryside. Well, that's not really the countryside, let's be real. That's some houses. But that's the countryside. Problem is, right, I can't even go to sleep because I'm, I thought I was the last stop, but no. No, I'm not. Plymouth is our stop. So if I do go to sleep, I mean... Plymouth is still in South Devon, so I could just get off there. I'm going to try not to sleep. I'm going to go back to work and I'm going to do some work. I need to stop procrastinating. <gasps> Ooh, Stone Acre. Let's go buy a car. So, yeah. Oh my god. I've just realised this is going to be like TMI, but not TMI. I'm on the morning pool. What am I going to do if I need to put on the train? Oh my god. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm still got only one here, um, but we're now stopping at Derby. Ooh, that's probably okay to eat. Ooh, that's a nice massive one as well. Uh, we're stopping at Derby. That's your first stop of the cross country route, as you can tell. We're looking at deindustrialisation over here. Um, but I've connected to the Wi Fi, thinking, oh yeah, I'll be able to watch like Netflix and stuff. No, it's bad Netflix. Bad Netflix. Down YouTube, everything, so I'm actually gonna have to do job with your app. But there's nothing else I can do. And there's a really, very fit boy just sat there. Can you see him? Oh, uh, hey. So yeah, I'm gonna shit and actually do a workout. Oh my god. I think, oh, no, there's people coming on first class now. Anyway, people are getting on now, so see you soon. Guys, we've entered another disaster. The phone charger things aren't working, and my phone. That's 14% left. Right, please give me enough. They're not working at all. Do you have 14% left on my phone? And I've got three hours to go. And just charges just aren't working. It's not working at all. My phone is going down by a second. Try to take the lead. And then if it doesn't work, I'll have to just take the train. So we're now at the third stop in Birmingham. I'm happy because my phone is now working, so I'm happy again. The Wi Fi is not working, so I'm struggling to my geography any age. I don't know how to write it, like, I need help with it, and it's just not working. I've got a sparkling water. I ate like half a bunch of strawberries. I'm gonna have some grapes. I'm still really peckish. I'll have some grapes, get them eaten. And then, boom, mm, finish this. So it is about 10 minutes. And a half hours left from here, and I've got some porridge, hearty porridge, thinking it will have milk in, but it's got milk in it because it's got some powder and clove in porridge, so I can't even have that. And it's spilled all in the bag, so that was really nice. It looks like it anyway. And I've just got some spilled milk. Try this. Carefully. Irish, Irish, more Irish. Anyway, it's 13 12. We've got an hour and a half left on this train. It honestly felt like forever. Do you want to show me? Do we see how much work I've done? Okay, of course you do. This is what I've done. This is it. I've got that done. Um, obviously, there are the titles that I need to do. But honestly, I'm just lacking in motivation. I'm really, really kind of bothered. And it's really, really bad to work with I like, All I wanted is like a Starbies. Like, just the. Uh, I've just got Starbies. Someone literally smacked me, like literally smacked me. And I just really want coffee. And then I just want to go to bed. I can't put it to bed when me allow. Like, I just, you know, you just not in the room. 
That's me today. <gasps> the sheep! The sheep everyone wants! Little sheepies! Little sheep! This is a little countryside view, that's the sky. A little countryside view for you all. Oh, there's a lake. What else we got? Some trees. Oh, beautiful. Picturesque, I will say. Just set off, you know, when you trust a day, it's gonna be a bad day. Like, I set off a little bit later than I expected. Like, I set off at quarter past eight instead of eight, um, and I just thought, oh, everything's gonna go wrong today. You know, you just have that mindset because I don't have my weeks this morning. But I told myself I should have done my weeks, but then I didn't. So I think I've had to go back. Switched my phone until I got off the train, but as literally you can see, we are literally going around the front, and I'm so excited for my dog. I haven't seen my dog in. I think six days, like this is the longest time I've ever been without him. I'll probably cry when I see him, but yeah, gotta get this big fat thing off. Oh god, gotta go. Yeah, made it back down the hundred flight of stairs that we have to do every single day, and I'm gonna have a dairy free cupcake for my dad's birthday. So I'm just gonna munch on that. Oh, wow, they put them in the fridge for some reason, which I can't quite understand, but these look so good. They're like strawberry cupcakes. So yeah, mm. cheers. What a five hours it's been, lads. Nice journey in with you. 